Okay, uh, good morning. This is K0PIR, Rich and Pure, South Dakota. Uh, and today we're uh, setting up some partner links in DX Fighter. And if you watched the last uh, video, uh, you were able to get uh, DX Fighter launched and the console running. And uh, here this is uh, what we have. Uh, I've got uh, uh, this console uh, launched here in the the document on the left hand side I'm using a word document this time because the scripts copy and paste into uh, these consoles a lot better if I'm using a word document so I'm gonna uh, protect this document and uh, put it out on the web okay the first thing uh, we want to do is uh, our partner I've got a local one on my local network it's k0pir-2 and that's what I'm gonna be using uh, so we want to set it in the console and just uh, checking the spelling there and uh, after I do that uh, type Q to quit and then we're going to move down and create a connect script and to do that, we can just copy and paste. We want to back up, and I'm going to put in K0PIR-2. And I'm going to open it up and uh, paste the script in there. And you can see I'm logged in as sysop. Uh, pay attention to those uh, in the document. I made a mistake yesterday and I had to go back and correct it. But I'm logged in as sysop and I'm uh, going to create a connect script here. Better scroll down a little, make sure I get the whole thing. And I'll go up and uh, the first one is uh, Telnet in the cluster will be uh, pi.k0pir.us and it's on uh, 7300. And uh, this next one we edit is uh, uh, my node, which is k0pir-3 the one that I'm editing right now and uh, the client is k0pir-2 double check and uh, make sure that's okay control x y for yes and save it and uh, then we want to uh, copy and paste this. There we go. And we can initiate the uh, connection. I want to go back and I'm just using my up arrow get to the console and uh, then let's just run this command and we got the connection started it took a second and that's either my wireless connection uh, or the fact that it's on the local network and uh, there's a slight delay uh, getting out. I don't have it set up. But it is uh, receiving spots from uh, K0PIR-2. So we have that part working. 
the next thing we're going to do is uh, create a uh, cron tab so we can check the connections and make sure it's connected about every 10 minutes so you can see we got that going okay I'm going to quit that and go back over to uh, step 7 And I need to be logged in as root for this. Create a cron tab. And then I'm going to copy and paste this script in and edit it. Okay, uh, actually I don't need to uh, edit this one. Uh, just control X, Y for yes, save it. And then we want to change mod on this. Still logged in as root. down a little bit now we want to allow the partner node to connect to uh, my node so uh, we're going to put in a uh, startup script and uh, still log in as root and copy and paste this one all right you'll notice uh, we have the set spider Command, and then we want to put in uh, my adjacent node and my partner node, which is K0PIR-2. That's my uh, DX fighter that's uh, in production right now. It's actually running. Uh, if you uh, get some more nodes, you'll just go down one line and do set spider again, and then type in their node. So that's all it is to a startup script. You just have one startup script. Select Y for yes, save it. The uh, next thing we want to do, and these are a couple of scripts uh, written by uh, another ham on the internet, and I'll post his web a link to his website. Uh, we want to uh, purge uh, some of the uh, some of the data that uh, the X Spider is creating every day. Uh, the logs that it creates and we want to uh, delete them so we don't run out of space so these scripts come in real handy and uh, the first one is a, a pretty long script uh, it deletes uh, the spots it deletes the uh, uh, files in debug and in the, uh, the log so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and create that this video is going to take a little bit of time. Still logged in as root. Scroll down and copy and paste this in. All right, you know, the thing to look at on this one is uh, the, the month that you have in there, excuse me, the year that you have in there, make sure it's 2016, and now we're going to be rolling over into 2017, so I guess I'll have to go back in and edit that uh, line uh, in the new year. So after that, we uh, do a control X, Y for yes. Hit enter to save it. And uh, we want to make this executable. And 
I'm gonna fix this real quick. There we go. Don't want that A in there. All right. We want to do this weekly. We're gonna create another file. It's gonna delete some logs under var log. And I've checked uh, to make sure it's working on my system, and it is working. Now uh, you may want to go back in a few days, a week, and uh, make sure that uh, it's deleting files. Let's go in and edit it. This is a shorter one. Just copy and paste. And at uh, step 18, you can reboot to make sure everything's still working. I'm just going to assume it is. Uh, we've got the uh, cluster uh, launched, and we have the console launched. So uh, just to uh, save some time, I'm not going to do that step. Let's get rid of. Uh, let's get rid of this. Excuse me while I uh, while I fix this. Boy, it doesn't want to let me. Uh, doesn't want to let me fix that. I'll go back and fix it before I post it on the web. Anyway, uh, a couple more things we want to do is uh, we want to make sure that. Uh, DX Spider starts uh, if your system reboots, you have a power outage, comes back up. You want to make sure that uh, it launches uh, automatically. And to do that in the Pi 3, yeah, the way to do it is create a script uh, to make it a service. And SV5FRI did that, and I'll put the link uh, here. You can take a look at his website. Uh, so we're going to make uh, DX Spider a, ser a service. And uh, to do that, we're going to copy. Paste. This script in. And pay uh, close attention to where it ends. Right there. And uh, there is nothing to edit on this. So we do want to change it. And uh, now what we need to do is make sure that it launches on reboot that script. And to do that, I'm using uh, a little app, and we'll uh, get it right here. And it uh, just seems to work really well. Uh, looks like it got stuck there. Oh, there it goes. Alright, 
can't go. I'm going to ask you if you want to continue, you do have to press Y. Alright, there we go. And uh, all we have to do is run that. And uh, looks like we are logged in as root, so... Copy that. And there we go. Uh, the uh, spider is in there. What do we name it? We named it DX Spider. There it is. Oops. Went past it. Yes, spider. And we want to check off 2, 3, and 5. Just use your space bar. And uh, that's it. You to quit. Go back in and make sure it held. I was wondering about that sometime. All right. Now, if we uh, shut it down and it restarts, uh, DX Spider should come up automatically. And uh, just to cut down on some time for uh, this video, I'm uh, not going to do that. Uh, but it, when it does reboot, uh, you can go in uh, to your console. You don't want to launch the, the cluster. You just go into the console, and it may take a few minutes uh, for you to start seeing spots. But uh, when you do, you'll know that it's working. And the last thing to do is back up your Raspberry Pi 3, and I do that from VNC. Uh, I insert a USB stick into one of the USB ports, I launch VNC, and I go to the raspberry button in the top left hand corner, go to accessories, SD card copier, and it makes the selections and hit start and it uh, backs up the system. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart this, pause the video, and uh, show you what it looks like when it comes up. Okay, I'm back and uh, rebooted the uh, computer and it came back up. I logged in and it's this op and I'm at the console. Uh, window and I'm going to launch the DX Spider console and uh, since a couple of minutes have passed it uh, is already picking up spots and uh, it shows that I'm connected to 81 nodes so let this sit for a little while uh, come back uh, and relaunch it it'll show that I'm connected to uh, quite a bit more but anyway I'm getting spots now so everything's working uh, that should do it so if you have any questions, please comment below, uh, any suggestions, uh, boy, you know, I'm new at this, so uh, let me know. Thanks for watching, remember to like, subscribe, and share, 73 and good DX.